A sweet ending for a horse named Cupcake. This is the news we watched play out during our 5 p.m. news today. South Metro firefighters helping rescue this horse, which was stuck in the muddy water in Cherry Creek State Park. That's where Stan Bush joins us live tonight. Stan, the crews out there blame the horse's owner for what happened today. Karen, it was a great rescue, and it never should have had to happen in the first place. Those owners decided to go off the trail and into that wet marsh area. And when that horse got exhausted and dehydrated in the day's heat, it just laid down. And it could have drowned if it wasn't for the quick action of rescuers. Rescuers arrived to what looked like a hopeless scene. Cupcake, Jamie, you got to do it on your own. Finding Cupcake, a 13 year old horse laying on her side in thick mud and water a foot and a half deep. It's definitely a life or death situation. That's the bottom line. That horse was either had to stand up and get out of there or be helicoptered out. Doug Hammock rushed in from a nearby ranch. He sat in the mud and kept Cupcake's snout above water for hours. She probably weighs about a thousand pounds, so. Keeping her head up and keeping her on her stomach was a bit of a chore, but it's what you got to do. Firefighters tried to keep her calm. A vet would give her fluids and steroids. And then, after more than four hours of agony, up, up, up. Come on, Cupcake. Come on. Cupcake found the strength and with a push and a pull, got back on her feet. You don't have the luxury of getting overly emotional when you're trying to rescue something. Cupcake walked out of her grave with a new entourage, a little weak and exhausted, but she wouldn't have been saved had it not been for the quick action of firefighters who came in force and for horse handlers from a nearby ranch who raced in to help. <laughs> I don't know if I'm a hero. Um, I wouldn't say that. I'm just, uh, I'm just a guy that could help and did help. Now, Cupcake escaped virtually unharmed. She had a little scar on one of the hind legs, uh, but she is expected to make a full recovery. We're live tonight in Cherry Creek State Park. Stan Bush, CBS 4 News.